And this is the Dietra heat. So this is the heating coil Dietra uh, pad that comes out. It's brilliant. It comes in little sections and you just run your wire through it. It's totally customizable for your design. And it has the added benefit of having an uncoupling membrane under the tile. So we're on outside walls of the building here. So if there's any kind of structural expansion and contraction at a different rate than the tile, we're not gonna cause cracking. And that's brilliant. So we're just getting prepped up for putting our teacher floor down now. Again, this is a uncoupling membrane with a heating system installed. So we just gotta make sure that we're nice and clean here. We don't wanna have any debris. Make sure we're not tracking in any screws or anything from the other part of the, the job site. Unlike most things on the instructions, it says clean and dry, but here we want clean and wet. Very important. You can install this membrane right over top of the subfloor. Now this house, the construction is actually three quarter inch, so it's incredibly strong. Here's what we do. We wet the wood. Whenever you wet your substrate, you're creating a better bond. The type of cement we're using Again, non-modified. The longer it stays wet, the better it adheres. So what we're gonna do is just wet that floor. We put on our cement. This is a Dietra trowel. It's been used a lot. Probably should keep my tools cleaner, but basically just once we get the cement on the floor, we're gonna comb this out. So we can lay our mat into it. The gap on this trowel is actually actually quite small. In this situation, less is more. These uh, flooring mat membranes that they've designed are designed that you can actually walk on them right away. So you can lay this down and start tiling right away. And so what they recommend is not using a whole lot of cement. That way, when you put it on the floor, not getting squished around by your feet when you're walking. Just a little side note, you can use this uncoupling membrane as part of a floor waterproofing system as well. What you would need to do is take the Curdy Bond tape and just tape your joints and tape it onto the wall. If you don't have a floor register <laughs> on the floor, then you could actually waterproof your floor as well. Like I said, here we can't do that. We have heat coming through the floor. That's it, just a moderate amount of pressure. And if you want, you can double check, make sure you got a good adhesion. There we go. I'm happy with that. Then we just have to do that same process throughout the whole application of the floor until we're done. Then we can run our cable. when you're doing this to line up your cable so you're important when you're doing this to line up your mat this is designed for the cable to be interwoven in these spaces so you want to make sure that you have them lined up relatively straight <laughs> you don't have a problem getting your cable in so now that we're finished with our mat got our subfloor down I'm gonna install the Dietra heat cable. Now this is the thermostat. When you're buying these products, always buy your cable and your thermostat at the same time. Inevitably, yeah, sensor cables come with the thermostat. And if you don't embed this in the, in the system when you're starting, after you've got your tile on, you go to put your thermostat in, you're in for a heck of a surprise trying to regulate your heat. So there's a couple of design specs when you're doing this kind of a system. This is just a really long lead wire so that you have flexibility to have the sensor somewhere. It may not be convenient and then it can still run all the way up to your thermostat. Um, but what we're gonna do, this is the wire coming from my thermostat so I can pull all these other wires through later. We'll just get this all out of here for now. I'm gonna start my sensor right off here. And the cool thing about this is it just snaps into place. How awesome is that? That's the benefit of having something that's pre-thought out for you. No hot glue, no fooling around. Schluter is thought ahead. And this is the first time I've used the Dietra heat. I usually use a different floor system, but because they have the new mats, we're trying it out to see how it works for us. And they sent the sensor in the box with the cable. 
which means maybe you don't need to have the thermostat on site. Maybe this is an extra. Stay tuned. <laughs> Let's try this now. Okay, now this is our heating coil. Now, when you're figuring out your heating system, you buy it by square foot, but you don't just measure the size of the room. You, you have to measure the size that you're going to heat. So you don't want to go too close to the wall because you're going to have baseboards and you get a heat rating of a couple of inches anyway. So we're going to run our cable about five inches off the wall all the way around. And then we don't want to run it underneath our cabinet or underneath the toilet. That'll cause sweating. And so we've measured out in advance and you buy your system with the closest number that works for you. So the way you get started is right at the very beginning. This here you don't want to have this in the floor. So we're going to leave that there for now. There's our cable. Get rid of our lead wire. And the coolest thing about this system, and I love this when we were down in Toronto, getting our, our training course. They suggested you just use a rubber float. And you'll see it just pushes it right in the groove. Done, that's installed. We'll just run this along. We we'll maintain our two feet from the cabinet. Now, our vanity is 21. So this is actually really important. If you, if you turn your corner too soon before the vanity, then when you're standing here, your toes are gonna get cold. They're gonna register the difference in the tile because tile will suck the heat out of your foot wherever it's not warm. So very important, realize that at a vanity, people stand right up to the vanity. We want to make sure that we come right up to 21 inches. And there we go. 21 inches. Turn the corner. And then back we go. Now this is a floor warming system. We're not going to be using this as the uh, supply of the heat. So we're going to be running it, the cable every, every three inches. If you're used to other kinds of heating systems, this will work out just well for you. Here, that just means in three of these little octagons. Now, like most men, when you open up a box and you have a product in there, you take the paperwork and you throw it away. Very careful not to do that here. This is gonna demonstrate how to do it, but here is the big piece of paper. Warranty card. The reason this is important is because the installer has to fill out their own personal information. It also has information as to who I am because they know me because I'm certified. And then it has information we have to record before, during, and then after. And that is the resistance in ohms on the wire. Now that's a lot of technical talk, but basically what you have to do is you take your ohms meter, and these aren't very expensive, it's $20 at the hardware store, and you basically you have to turn it on Make contact with the two wires. We're checking the resistance. And then we make that record. My ohms meter registers times a thousand. So their resistance on this package, this product is marked off at 29.61. Okay, so what we should get here when we do our ohms test is somewhere between, you know, 2,500 and 3,000 ohms. Let's get the wire. And there we go. Resistance test complete. It's working just fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write that down before we install the wire. We'll test it again after we install the wire. And we'll test it again after we put the tile on. And then we'll have this information available. We'll send it off to Schluter. So if anything breaks down, they've got this on file and they know it's been tested. And they know to respect the information because it was tested by somebody who was trained by them. And then uh, we'll be able to go from there. Okay, so now we have our heating cable basically installed. We are going to double check. Yeah, right on the money, everything's fine. Which you kind of expect because uh, other heating cable systems, they don't come with an insulated line like this. This is kind of cool. You'd have to do something pretty stupid, which is why we use a rubber float to put it down, not a metal trowel. Um, so all we have left is to pull those into the wall. I have a little bit of cabling left because I'm gonna do a surprise. I'm gonna actually run that cabling on the shower floor. 
Now, we didn't put vitrate in the floor, so that part I have to actually use a hot glue gun and dab it in there. I'm going to do that at the same time as I'm tiling. There's really no specs for it, but in talking to the guys at Schluter, they aren't against the idea. As long as the cable is installed properly, the benefit is, and that's why they're looking at getting shower pans with the DITRA cabling system built into it, the benefit is, is that when the heated floor is on, your shower floor will dry out entirely. So it's really awesome for keeping things like mold and mildew and water stains down if you have hard water, because the water will come, it'll dry up instantly, and you won't get rings and residue stains. Uh, I think it's just brilliant. I know it's gonna be really a lot of fun. This is a walk-in shower. So you walk in with a heated floor, you stand on a heated floor. Uh, it's just gonna be awesome. And uh, then we're ready to tile. Remember, if you wanna learn more, just subscribe to our channel, Ottawa Design and Build here on YouTube.